In Star Trek Online, you'll get to experience all the aspects of the Star Trek universe, exploration, diplomacy. But the year 2409 is a time of war, so with this video we wanted to give you an idea of what it would be like to engage the enemy in starship combat. The most basic strategy in starship combat is to maneuver your ship, use your energy weapons to bear on one section of your enemy's shields, knock those shields down, and then use your photon torpedoes on the exposed hull. So there's three basic types of ships that you can get in STO. The first one is a cruiser. Cruisers are really tough. They take a lot of damage to take them down. They have a lot of crew, so they're hard to disable. This is really good for tanking. Second kind is an escort. Escorts are really fast. They're pretty maneuverable. They can dish out a lot of damage at one time, but they're pretty weak, so they're a lot better for dealing DPS. The third type is a science ship. Science ships are really good at increasing the abilities of you and your teammates, or decreasing the abilities of the enemy. They do crazy stuff like bouncing things off of deflector dishes or scrambling enemy sensors. It's really good at doing support. So one of the additional ways you can customize your ship, instead of just customizing your crew, you can also customize the components that are on your ship. So for example, you and I may both have the same class of ship, but the items that I'm going to put on my ship might be different than yours. For example, uh, some of the station mods that I put on my ship might impact my phasers or my torpedoes. There might even be a difference in our deflector dish, so some of your bridge officer powers, which you've also customized, may act differently depending on the gear that you've actually put in your ship, even though you and I have the same class of ship. So your configuration of your ship defines something, but it's really the equipment, the, the weapons, the deflector dish, the impulse engines, the consoles that you equip on your ship, as well as the bridge officers who was activated at that time that really define how you play in combat. So your bridge officers in STO change how you play the game. You actually can select them, train them up, give them new abilities, they can learn abilities from new bridge officers, and they actually affect your powers that you have access to in space. For instance, you can have engineering bridge officers that are really good at fixing your ship or making it go faster. Those are the ones I tend to pick so that I can be a little more durable and have some escapability. But you can also get engineering bridge officers that will give you extra power to your engines or your, your weapons. Uh, tactical officers will allow you to fire multiple torpedoes at once or really overload one phaser and shoot one giant beam of energy. Uh, science guys will let you do things like mess up your enemy's sensors, make it so they can't target you, confuse whether or not they know who's a friend or a foe, or boost your, your friendly ships, make their shields better, uh, make their sensors more effective. We are the Borg. Resistance is...